Good morning, everyone, and blessed be. This is your host, Aries Starwind, and welcome back to another episode of Readings for Relaxation. First, I'd like to apologize to everyone for my little hiatus because um, I was definitely one of the uh, fallen victims to the flu this year, and um, I was pretty down and out for about a week to a week and a half, and um, it took me a couple extra days to uh, let my body kind of recover, but um, I definitely feel much better now. Uh, I'll still probably sound a little nasally, but um, other than that, I feel great and I'm very excited to continue our readings together. So we are going to continue our reading of The Chakra Bible by Patricia Mercier, The Definitive Guide to Working with Chakras. And now we'll actually delve into each individual chakra, starting with the Muladhara. The Muladhara Chakra. The base chakra, or Muladhara, is also known as the root, Adhara, Mula, Padma, Brahma Padma, or Bhumi Chakra. It is the first of the seven major chakras and associated with the element of earth, symbolizing the densest grade of manifestation and the basis of life. In the Kundalini Yoga system of Shaktism, the Muladhara system is described as having four lotus petals, blood red in color, each corresponding to the psychological states of greatest joy, natural pleasure, delight in controlling passions, and blissfulness in concentration leading to meditation. The Functions of Muladhara In terms of energetics, this chakra channels earth energy upward through the feet and legs to pr process and stabilize it. It then moves the energy on up the spine, now transmuted into a form that the body recognizes as signals to balance the endocrine system, the gonads, ovaries, and testes, through the release of hormones. When we do not get the full flow of this earth energy, imbalances in our physical body result. Grounding or rooting us is the main function of Muladhara. When we are grounded, we are at one with life and Muladhara functions are intended. We enter into a sympathetic vibration with the electric magnetic frequency of the earth, coming into tune with the beat of her heart. Muladhara is also closely associated with returning karma, the sum of our experiences from previous existences. This is sometimes referred to as good or bad karma, but all karma is there for us to learn from, and we are fortunate if we believe that we get more than one chance at life. The first and second chakras also act as the energetic recycling bin of the auric field. They change negative emotional energies into power and light, and return the earth any toxic waste that the other chakras cannot deal with, thus keeping the rainbow purity of the aura. If our Muladhara chakra is disassociated from earth, we cannot expel these waste emotions. The main characteristics at a glance. The Muladhara's color is red, its key issues, sexuality, lust, and obsession. The physical location is between the anus and genitals, opening downward. The associated spinal area is the fourth sacral vertebrae. The physiological system is the reproductive system, and the endocrine gland is the gonads. The nerve plexus is the sacral coxgeal. The inner aspect, grounding spiritual energies. Its physical action is sexuality, and its mental action is stability. Its emotional action is sensuality, and its spiritual action is security. Health Issues and Muladhara Muladhara means the support of the root, the keeper of the beginning, or the bearer of the foundation. First chakra needs are instinctual, 
we need shelter and food. The compulsion to overeat or hoard material items and money is a negative expression of our instinct for survival. If we can never get enough food, money, goods, and sex to satisfy us, the Mugadhara is dysfunctioning and we are seriously disconnected from the earth. But the chakras are our teachers and can lead us gently to higher realizations. As you will see later, the primal power of Kundalini is coiled here like a snake, ready to awaken us to our true spiritual selves. This is one of the goals of Tantric Yoga. The positive attributes of Muladhara give us remarkable abilities to survive under extreme conditions. They also urge us to procreate and express love to our partners and children, spurred on by the feminine urge of the primal kundalini serpent, the earth mother energy lying dormant within us. The associated body system. This chakra is connected to minor chakras on feet, ankles, knees, and groin that support the upward flow of energy from the earth. When we deny our connection to earth wisdom, our bodies react and disorders manifest, affecting the sacrum, spine, excretion, and sexual organs. If the Muladhara chakra is blocked, you will not experience a very fulfilling sex life. Conversely, those who try to suppress sexual urges may have hidden fears and end up with diseases associated with imbalances in their approach to sexuality. Holistic pra practitioners always treat the energy associated with the disease rather than the disease itself. They look for underlying causes and dysfunctions. If they are trained in color therapy, they will use red light to stimulate sexual dysfunction and blue light to calm and balance. Associated Endocrine Gland The base chakra is linked to the endocrine glands. In women, these are the ovaries, which produce the hormones estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen promotes secondary female characteristics and menstrual cycles, and can also be found in the placenta, adrenals, and male testes. Progesterone prepares the uterus for a fertilized egg. In men, these are the testes, which produce the hormone testosterone, which develops and maintains male characteristics and produces sperm. Mental, emotional, and spiritual issues. Because Muladhara is located between the legs, the actual point of body contact of this chakra is the sacral coccyx joint, which is associated with the position of our body in time and space, how we move, and the tactile sense of touch. From this, you can see its importance during lovemaking. All of the major chakras are situated in a vertebral line, ascending from the base of the spine to the head, making a core line for the flow of radiant energy. It is controlling the core radiance that leads to transformation of the sexual urge into spiritual enlightenment during Tantric Yoga. A spin-off of fulfilling sex is the resulting secretion of beneficial hormones that are needed to revitalize us and keep us young. Transmuting the Emotions We can all understand hormonal imbalances at puberty and menopause. During these times, we often go through extremes of emotion. The hint that we receive from Tantric Yoga is that we can transmute these emotions if we move energies upward through the chakras, concentrating not just on base sh sexual desires, but on a wholesome, vibrant body and fulfilling spiritual life. At menopause, it is vital that women complete the upward movement of energy for neglect may develop disease in the womb and breasts. Men, at this point in the same cycle, may end up with testicular disease, or quite literally, heartbreak. Stability and Security Muladhara is the foundation of life. 
confidence in who we are and whom we trust are functions of the base chakra. If our early life felt safe and protected, then trust in the world is normally well established. If on the other hand our conception was traumatic, or the environment of our mother's womb and our childhood was disruptive, then the stresses in the first chakra tend to make us see the world and other humans as frightening. When the first chakra is flowing fully, it has been described as a beautiful red lotus flower with an intense golden center. The lotus starts life in muddy water at the bottom of a lake or river and grows upward to blossom to the light. For this reason, it symbolizes human potential and growth from our beginnings, through mastering our emotions to blossoming in the light of spirit. This is why the chakras are often depicted as lotuses. The Kundalini Energy In Tantric Yoga teachings, in Tantric Yoga teachings, the colors of blood red, yellow and gold are traditionally associated with Muladhara. Surprisingly, despite being the lowest and first of the seven major chakras, this is the bliss center for our physical body. In Muladhara, we experience joy, pleasure, passions, and blissfulness in concentration. Above all, this center leads us to bliss of realizing the divine in the physical body through sexuality. The highest forms of sexuality in the major majority of cultures do not reject the body, but see it as a medium for the transmutation of body and spirit together. Body Electrics We have bodies that are wired for bliss. We have a subtle electrical energy grid or meridians, as understood in acupuncture, and channels of energy called nadis in the yoga tradition already in place. However, the grid sometimes gets blocked and the energy that flows through is reduced. Yoga and aesthetic practices purify the grid's energy lines so that a radiant light flows as intended. As always, the simplest methods are often the best. Notice what you think, say, eat, drink, and breathe. How do you move? sit and stand, dance and sing. It's not so much what you do that is important as to how you feel and with the sentiments you act. For anyone, the first step in the right direction is simply recognizing that you are a spiritual being born with a potential for growth into the limitless life of spirit. According to Shakta Shakta Tantric Doctrine, Muladhara is the place where Kundalini, a latent cosmic energy, resides in every living human being. When this latent power is activated through Hatha Yoga practices, Pranayama, purification of the Nadis, and so on, it rises through each of the spinal chakras, in turn and up through the top of the head, to the Sar Sahasrara sh crown chakra or thousand-petaled lotus. There it unites with the opposite polarity, the Paramashiva, or Supreme Godhead, consciousness, and the yogi attends total liberation from everyday reality. Put more simply, Kundalini is the feminine Shakti power of the Eternal Goddess, who wants to unite with her Lord Shiva at your crown chakra. She desires him and becomes impatient to unite with him. She needs to rise up your spine, surging through the chakras in ecstatic bursts of infinite light and power and shimmer in your head. And there we are. That was uh, that was the first um, part of the... the uh, basically, this is chapter two, which we are starting in each individual chakra. And that was the start of the Muladhara or the base chakra. There is um, definitely a lot more. The next section will be uh, Kundalini energy in the Nadis. Um, so that will be tomorrow. And um, let's hold on one second. I just want to make sure. Yeah, so it, it definitely each 
each chakra has a pretty lengthy section. Um, so we'll try to split each of the chakras into three um, separate episodes. That way uh, we can, you know, get uh, three separate parts and be able to remember them a little easier than, you know, going through each one of them um, in one big group. So there we are. We are, uh, that was our chapter on, uh, the beginning of our chapter on the Mugadhara Chakra. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope this uh, is a good way to start off your morning. And I will see you all later on. God is blessed. Blessed be. And have a wonderful, wonderful day.